Hey, how's it going? Todd Leader here. I recently signed as a kicker and punter with the Hamilton Tiger Cats in the CFL. Today from my hometown in Galway, Ireland with my mate Murray behind the lens, we're going to be shooting a day in the life of type of video where I'm going to be showing my training routine and my processes off the field, which I've been kind of implementing for the last few months to get myself in the best possible position to go perform in the CFL. I hope you enjoy, stay tuned. So every morning I like to start with just a cup of tea. Um, living in North America for the last few years, I think coffee culture is massive and um, that's always how I started my day. But just being back here in Ireland, it's just like a big part of our culture and like tradition. So for whatever reason, I've kind of slipped back into that, but I really enjoyed it. And then just when I'm going about my reading and writing, it's just a relatively tranquil way for me to start the day and relaxing before I kind of ramp things up as the day goes on. While sipping away on my morning tea, uh, I like to read a passage every morning from the Daily Stoic, which it says here, it's on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. So it's just an easy way for me to kind of kick off the day. And um, this one might take five or 10 minutes, but it just kind of reflection stuff. And then from there, I usually have some kind of thoughts or things that are going through my head, emotions, whatever, that I like to write down and just get that down on paper. I find when I write things down that uh, maybe different thoughts or emotions, whatever it is that I might, might have, that when you physically put pen to paper, the th things tend to come out a little bit more. And then from there, you can kind of decipher what it is is going on. And then from there, I find it easier to make like progression plans. Um, so this is just a nice little way for me to get the day started in that regard. Now that the morning routine is done, we're going to jump into the gym. Um, like to jump in here for like an hour, an hour and a half. Quite fortunate to have a home setup. Bit of a dungeon, but gets the job done. So feel free to join us and uh, we get to work. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this what I was made for. Man, I know this what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, and they do whatever I say so. Have chicks that color the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank low. Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls. And I'm grinding. Money on my mind and I'm headed to the top I won't stop until I find it Write my name in diamonds But all these lights are blinding I wonder is it worth it Feel like I'm losing my mind Yeah, remind me I blew up, everybody telling me that I'm the man Same people gave me the finger, they reaching out for me to give a hand In a different city and my pills came Cause this tour don't happen, I feel pain and the Just over a year since I made the decision to, to leave To leave behind professional rugby Which I was, you know, got to do that for 8 years And that was everything I ever really wanted to do But uh, when the football opportunity came up it was something that I absolutely just studied love, love and adore kicking and the opportunity to play a sport where I just kicked was kind of too good to pass up. Although in saying that, obviously there was no guarantees I was ever going to get the opportunity to, to do this at a professional level, but I just thought, you know, why not, why not give it a go and uh, I was quite happy with my rugby career so I was quite happy to close that chapter and then thankfully I've just been kind of plugging away trying to open up doors and opportunities and that's taken me from Indianapolis to, to bloody Poland so quite a random spot but all those different parts of the journey I've been able to accumulate footage and I, I, that's all accumulated in signing for Hamilton so yeah it's been random but in, love it love every second of it so and uh, hopefully that's coming across in, in these few clips or the, the day the day that is today so obviously we don't have any football fields in Ireland so we use rugby pitches. Goalposts are somewhat similar as you can see and then <coughs> with the CFL obviously the, the dimensions are pretty different so I've just had to have a little notebook here so I know how to to line the pitch to make it you know the hash marks and the sideline kind of consistent with uh, this shape of a pitch. So anyway it's not perfect but it's as good as I can get and you, you just make do I suppose. It's always good when you hear those clicks in your lower back. That's what I'm looking for. I'm feeling them. 
a lot right now. Kicking session done, um, went pretty well actually, so relatively happy with that. Uh, it's good to have the lads along with me, make collecting the balls much easier, easier than being by myself. And now the plan is we're going to jump into Black Rock in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. A bit cold, but we'll do it. jump in anyway and just I don't know we'll see how it goes wish me well it's every bit as cold as it looks <laughs> Now between like 7 and 10 p.m. I generally I'm either on the laptop I'm doing a sports leadership course through the CFLPA so really fortunate to be included in that it's uh, with Royal Roads University so I'm either looking at that or on a day like today where I kicked and my back hips might be a little bit tighter or sore a bit of massage gun stretching and just kind of watching TV pretty chill sometimes I might light some candles or whatever but yeah low-key um, way to kind of detach and kind of finish up the day and the last act of the day is where I look to um, journaling. I've been journaling for maybe two years now. I find it's a really good way to almost score the day, recognize things I did well or didn't do well, areas I can improve, or, or also then just kind of your own personal like emotions, things you're feeling, things you're thinking. Um, I've just found it really, really helpful. So I'm a big advocate of that. So I look to journal every night. Also then I am my, in my bathroom, which I guess you'll see. I look to score the day, um, basically it, was it a win or a loss, did I progress or did I not? And that's not just physical or within football, it's, it's as a person as well as a general human being. So I find it's a good way to again, keep myself accountable and um, yeah, I, I, again I'd be an advocate of that to other people and David Coggins actually and the man behind the camera was the one that recommended his book to me and uh, I, I read it and I was amazed with what he accomplished and how he did it. So I guess you cherry pick things out of, out of people that have done amazing things. That's what I get up to. I'd like to thank the, the lads behind, Lee behind the camera and the other Lee just for their help throughout the day. It's nice to have someone kind of help me out along the way because it's not always I get that. My old fella helps me out when he can, but otherwise it's me on my own. So thanks to the fellas. And um, lastly, just thanks to everyone who's supported me, especially Irish people and Canadian people over the last year or so. Um, I haven't had a clue what I'm doing, like with this vlogging or video and whatever you want to call it, but. I've learned along the way just just jump in, do things and you know great things can potentially come from it. So that's really been my mindset and hopefully this video is is decent and if you like it, there might be more content content down the line. If not, that's fine too. Um, but just anyway, thank you very much everyone for your support and I'm looking forward to seeing all the Tiger Cats fans over in Canada and I'm um, looking forward to what's ahead. All right, Slant. Oh, and Hugo says goodbye too. Good boy. Thank <laughs> you.